Hello and welcome back. Today is Tuesday, April 9th. I have your four best bets for you in the NBA today. That's three player prop plays and one same game parlay that I absolutely love today. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the page. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. We have a great set of games today. 14 games. A lot of these games matter for seeding out in the West. Some games out in the East do matter. The Celtics Bucks game is a big game for the Magic and for the Knicks as well, because the Bucks are the second seed, but they're only a game ahead of the Knicks in Orlando, so that's a huge game. So Orlando and the Knicks will be trying today. Celtics, I'm not fully sure what they will be doing for their lineup, because they already have the top top seed overall locked up, so they really don't need this game. But it's always nice to knock off a rival, I'd say. We got Lakers, Warriors, Steph Curry, LeBron to end the night. It is just a beautiful day of basketball ahead of us, and I can't wait to sit back and relax and I'll watch these games. As always, before we jump into today's plays, we got to recap. Well, there was nothing to recap yesterday. Congratulations to UConn National Champion. I did pick them in my bracket. However, I got everything else wrong in my bracket. Uh, just UConn, so I feel good about having the winner right. But, hey, yesterday, no games. So today we're locked and loaded. As always, please make sure to follow my Twitter at DeWidler. I'm making this pretty early in the day. But I will have some a, a few more plays for like these other games. Not a lot of lines are out, or I'm waiting for a little more injury news to come out. So holding off on those, but I love these four plus plays here. And let's just jump into it. For my first best bet of the day, it's gonna be in that Bulls Knicks matchup here. Hey, Chicago Kids back home. Jalen Bronson has balled out against this Bulls team. The Bulls could be without Alex Caruso here. So, hey, even more love to Jalen Brunson here. So, I'm going with Jalen Brunson over 10.5 rebounds assists coming in at minus 120 on DraftKings. Let's dive into it. The last time they played, Jalen Brunson had 17 rebounds assists. He was absolutely wheeling and dealing passing the ball. He plays a Bulls team that allows the fifth most assists to the point guard position. So, he could take advantage of of that overall. He's gotten this over three for his last three games against the Chicago, averaging 15.3 rebounds assists. He's gotten this over four of his last five games overall, averaging 13 rebounds assists. So he has been passing the ball like no other and he's been grabbing a few rebounds for us here and there. My projections have him at 13 rebounds assists overall, so we could have two point cushion here overall. He's gotten this over seven over his got he's gotten this over seven for his last 10 games overall, averaging 11.7 rebounds assists. Last two times he played the Bulls. He had 16 and 17 rebounds and assists, so he absolutely clears this number. Uh, he's gotten this over four of his last five away games overall as well, averaging 12.8 rebounds and assists. So returning back home to Chicago, plus matchup of passing the ball-wise. Rebounds, you never really know. Bulls team back at home. We'll shoot a lot of threes and miss them, so Brunson will get rebounds. But over 10.5 rebounds and assists. Love that line for Brunson. For my second best bet, it's going to be in that same Bulls-Knicks matchup here. Hey, I took I didn't take his points last game, and he dropped 30. I'm back taking it. I'm taking his rebound points assist, though. Going with DeMar DeRozan, over 29.5 rebounds, points assist, sorry. Over 29.5 points assist, minus 120 on FanDuel. Let's jump into it. He's actually gotten this over five for his last five games, averaging 33.8 points assist last time he played the knicks he had 30 on the nose but he had 10 assists overall 20 points in that game so i think demar can actually make a few more baskets here hey the assist there i think i have him oh at six assists in the game so we'll just need 24 points from him so i feel good about demar being at home for this the knicks allowed the ninth most points to the power forward position and the sixth most assists to the power forward position so hey DeMar has a great matchup here. He's actually gotten this over two for his last two games versus the Knicks, averaging 32.3 points assist. So great matchup overall, and he has a proven track record of getting this over. So you got to love that overall. He's gotten this over eight for his last 10 games overall as well, averaging 32 points assist. Steady volume, 20 field goal attempts in these last 10, 10 games. We've got to love that. In the last five games, he's averaging 12-plus potential assists. So the assist potential is right there. Steady volume. You love that in a player this late in the year. Uh, like I said, last time they played, he had 20 and 10, so he easily got the over. I think this time he'll make a few more shots, so I, I think this is going to be an easy over for us. DeMar DeRozan, over 29.5 points assists. For my third best bet of the day, my favorite player prop play of the day, going to be in that Lakers-Warriors matchup to end the night here. Hey, Steph Curry has taken a few days off here. He has a beautiful matchup as well. 
and we're going to be taking his points. I think DraftKings has given us a great line here. Other books currently have this at 26.5 at minus 120 number, so I love that. So it's going to be uh, Steph Curry over 25.5 points coming in at minus 110 on DraftKings. What a steal of a price. If you really wanted to, you could do 25 plus points minus 135. But I think he's going to easily score 26 plus points in this game. So I'm taking his over 25 and a half on DraftKings. Let's jump into it. He's playing a Lakers team that allows the fourth most points to the point guard position. Love that. He's gotten this over six for his last six games versus the Lakers, averaging 33.2 points per game. The last three times he's played LA this season, he had 46, 32, and 31 points. He has dominated this matchup. Uh, he's gotten this over three, of his, three for his last five games, averaging 25.2 points per game. He has games where he can easily get this over as well. Got to love that. He's gotten this over three straight road games as well, having 33, 29, and 28 on the road. So he knows this time of the year that you need to hunker down. This is a huge playoff seeding game, potential play-in tournament game. So this is still deciding home court advantage. The Lakers want to get to that six seed and they're right there and the Warriors want to get moving up on the standings and this is a game where they need to win so I have Steph Curry over 25.5 points on DraftKings for my fourth best bet and for my same game parlay of the day sticking in that same matchup Lakers Warriors come on I gotta do a goat parlay here gonna be doing four plus plays here for plus 124 odds I wish it was plus 125 odds for a better looking number but for some reason it shows 125, but it's 124 whenever I take it, so whatever. Four-plus plays here, enough stalling. Four-plus plays here for plus 124 odds. Let's dive into it. Steph Curry, 25-plus points. I love it at 25-and-a-half. I absolutely love it at 25-plus points. Last three games, like I said, against the Lakers, 46, 32, 31. He's gotten us over six for his last six games versus the Lakers, averaging 32.2 points per game. Beautiful matchup. Fourth most points to the point guard position the last 30 games. Love that. Got this over three for his last five games overall, 25.2 points per game. Second leg, LeBron James, 20-plus points. Come on, Mr. Goat, 20-plus points. He's got this over nine for his last 10 games, averaging 26.2 points per game. He's got this over five for his last five home games as well, averaging 27 points per game. He's got this over four for his last four games versus the Warriors, averaging 29.5 points per game. Love these spots here. LeBron James, 6-plus assists. Feels like a free gimme as well. 9 for his last 10, averaging 9 assists per game. 5 for his last 5 home games as well, averaging 9.4 assists per game. He's gotten this over 3 for his last 4 versus the Warriors, averaging 8.3 assists per game. Love that. At home as well, role players play better at home. They'll knock down their shots. And then Steph Curry, speaking of knocking down shots, 3-plus three threes for us. Uh, he's gotten this over 9 for his last 10. Averaging 4.2 threes per game. Gotten this over six for his last six games versus the Lakers. Averaging 4.6 threes per game. And like I said, last three games he's played against the Warriors, uh, against the Lakers, he's had nine, six, and three. Clearing this easily. I love these four plus spots here. If you want to have a little fun, you could do a little ladder with this because I might be doing a little ladder to Curry 30, LeBron 25, and leaving the other two down below like they are. Love these four plus plays here for plus 124 odds on. FanDuel. Those are my four best bets for you in the NBA today. It is a beautiful slate of games ahead of us. I cannot wait to watch these games. As always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the page. Please leave a like and subscribe down below. It just takes a few seconds and it's free, so might as well. Hey, please make sure to follow my Twitter down below at the Whittler. I feel like I have a few more plays here. It's early on where, like I said, I'm waiting on a few things, injuries and all that to come out and seeing playing time as well for some teams here. Seeing if they're really trying or not and see who's starting who's not. Don't want any late scratches here. As always, I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Keep on smiling. I will see you in the next one.